Hello, so today we're going to be going over a costume that I made for Katsukon this year. It is the Fairy Umbreon by Sunset Dragon on Instagram. This video will be going over the bodysuit specifically. I'll have other videos for the accessories. I got a lot of questions about how I made the shoes on Instagram. The shoes are not shoes they're just socks basically or tights but that will be coming in a later video this video is going to be focusing on the bodysuit itself it's kind of an extension of my corset body series if you haven't seen that then you should go check that out i'll link those up here and then also in the description that series goes through how to draft a corset body pattern how to make the corset body itself and then like why you might use a corset body one of the things that i mentioned this is really useful for is for making bunny suits my friend kit sunset dragon on instagram he makes a lot of really cool fan art designs and last year at katsukan uh 2023 20, we have been talking about doing a big evolution group together originally she and a couple other friends asked me if i wanted to be in an evolution knights group like k n i g h t but i am not so great at armor and i wasn't super feeling any of the designs that were left so we were talking about like what i would be really into and i love fairies so i pitched fairies and so from there this kind of uh, fairy evolution group was born when we were picking characters um i really love umbreon because i like the dark edgy stuff despite uh, being kind of like a pink marshmallow today <laughs> but I got Umbreon and so I was really excited to start on everything. This is the design. I got lucky and I got one of the simpler designs in the group. Pretty basic breakdown. There's like a tiara, a bodysuit, some jewelry, a little shirt underneath, gauntlet things that are kind of attached to the shirt, and some tights and wings obviously wings our wings were really kindly sponsored by moon moth wings on instagram i'll link her instagram and her etsy in the description as well so you can check them out she is doing multiple collabs with kit actually so if you have wanted to cosplay sunset dragons fairy designs moon moth likely has some fairy wings that you can use for that so she really kindly gifted me kit and sarah was umbreon kit was leafy on and sarah was glaceon our wings and then the rest of the group i think sylveon and vaporeon made their own wings and everyone else did purchase their wings from moon moth wings so basically the plan for this bodysuit was to follow my corset body kind of tutorial i guess so i just used the same pattern that i used for my corset body last year for raven but instead of making it zip up like i usually make my corset bodies the group had kind of collectively decided we wanted to do lace up because I'm not really sure why aesthetic maybe um functionality i'm not sure so i decided to do a lace up this time so that's really the main big difference from my general corset body pattern series that i did and like the raven cosplay that i did last year it's a lace up instead of a zip and then instead of just like a base of a corset body and then something else on top because it is a bunny suit i wanted to just build the whole thing together so it's a corset body that's made of twill and then has a satin and all the decorations and stuff on top that was the plan let's go watch past minji do some stuff i've got the general base done i've only got boning in six of the boning channels there's going to be a lot more in the real thing but i wanted to make sure this all fits this ideally will just be the shell that goes inside the bunny suit and i won't have to make another one and i won't have to like cut anything else so functional as the mock-up but hopefully will also be functional in the real thing. I have one inch of seam allowance at the top here that I didn't bother folding down because I'm gonna have to trim this down but I think that's a good place for it to be. I think it will be fine all the way around the back as well. This is actually the side that is more accurate to the drawing but I think this side looks better with it coming down a little bit more so that it's where the cut line is rather than where I have the actual like marked stitch line. It's a little bit narrower than the drawing is but I think it looks a little bit better that way I don't know yeah I like it a little narrower better than all the way out to the cut line the back mostly looks good I think I need to take this seam in just a little bit so that it like holds to my body a little bit more and then I'll also be pulling the binding a little tighter so that all of this slack is taken up but I will take this seam in maybe like a quarter inch on each side of the seam. I think that looks pretty close to the neckline. It'll scoop in a little bit. I think that all looks good. This doesn't really need much work because I used my previous bunny suit pattern. So main changes, I'm going to be taking in this side back seam a quarter inch on each side, doing that on both sides. I'm going to be using the cut line on the hip line instead of the marked seam line. For the neckline, it's just going to follow what I had marked, so that doesn't need any alterations either. And everything seems to fit really well, especially once I have more boning like in all of the boning channels, this will not like scrunch down like this, so that'll fit a little bit better, but I think that everything fits great, so we can move on to cutting. Thank you. 
have all of my boning and boning channels in here. I'm not doing a whole ton. It's just one bone on each seam and then one bone in the middle of each piece, except for the center front gets two. So that's all ready to be attached to the outer part, which is also done. Now all I have to do, well, all I have to do now, I need to put these two layers together so they can live as one layer and then I need to bind the top and then decorate. So we're getting there. Normally for my bunny suits, I'll do a zipper at the center back, but the rest of the group is doing lace up backs. So I figured I'll just go with what the rest of the group is doing. So because of that, instead of putting the zipper in like early on, which is what I would normally do, I'm gonna be doing the closure at the end because that's how you have to do it with grommets. To close this up, I'm going to stitch these two layers together at the center back and then also at the leg holes, I think. I could bind off the leg holes, but because the drawing does not have any trim on the leg hole, I think I'm just gonna bag the leg holes instead of binding them. The top is gonna get bound because I don't really have a gold fabric I found that I like, and the stars are all gonna be done in heat transfer vinyl. I figured I want the stars to match the binding and also the little wrist cuffs. So I'm gonna put this heat transfer vinyl on top of some bias tape. I'm not entirely sure that this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try it. If it doesn't look good, then I'll just redo it. I don't know. I'm gonna do a sample first to make sure it does look good and that it doesn't just like rip the vinyl when I try to sew through it. Hopefully that will work. Okay, did a quick test and I think that looks really good actually. So I'm going to just go ahead and do that. Didn't stitch this side down, but I'll just hand stitch it to the back. But yay, I think that looks great, awesome. Okay, so I changed my mind. I am gonna bind the legs just cause I remembered that I wanted to make sure that the the leg hole like isn't gaping at all. And the best way to do that is by pulling the binding a little bit tight as you go around the leg hole so that it like all lays flat and there's no gaps. The other thing that I wanted to note is that I don't want any boning channels showing from the front of the garment. So I want all of this satin to just be really smooth. And that includes at the center back here. So instead of doing my normal boning channel where I like stitch down quarter inch at the very center back and then do my grommets and then do another boning channel. I think instead I'm gonna understitch the seam allowance to this cotille layer and then it's not really cotille, this twill layer and use that understitched fabric to create the boning channel. I think that should work. I, I don't know, we'll see. If I end up needing another boning channel here, then maybe I will end up putting the stitching and stuff, but I think I should be fine. It's a little hard to see because it's all dark, but this is what I meant. This is the center back seam there. So it's understitched so that when it's rolled, it always rolls so that there's like a little bit more of the satin showing and this twill layer will never roll to the front. So that is the first layer of understitching there. I did another layer of understitching three eighths from that seam. So that'll be my boning channel. I just ended the boning channel where around where I ended the closest one to it. So I'm gonna stick a bone in there and then I am gonna close up the leg Leg holes. I'm just gonna stitch them together at first, trim them, and then get a binding on there. This extra little gap there, I'm just gonna hand sew up because I didn't wanna mess it up or anything. So that's just gonna get hand sewn. These are gonna get stitched up. Actually, I can close up the whole thing now. Once I get the bone into the center back, I can just stitch the leg holes and the top neckline together, and then I can bind everything. And then we can stick stars on it, and then grommets, and then we're done. transfer vinyl onto some fabric. Worked out pretty okay. I scorched the fabric a little bit right here because I had my iron on the highest setting, but I'm just gonna avoid that section. So now I'm just gonna cut bias tape from this and hopefully I have enough. I have some more rolls of this, so if I need to make some more, I can.
I hope you liked this video in the process of making Umbreon's bodysuit. I had a really good time making this actually. Last year around this time I was super burnt out and making cosplays was just kind of felt horrible. <laughs> but this year it was a lot better. I think I'm finally getting through the sewing burnout and I actually had a lot of fun making this. I do always really like making bunny suits so that helped. Very, very happy with how this turned out. I think the fit is really good. The same corset body that I made last year for Raven. But at that time I did make it um, so that it was a little too fitted in like the bust area. I have lost uh, a few pounds, not very much, um, but I think it mostly came from my boobs and that helped the corset body fit a little bit better. That's usually the problem I have is like my bust tends to fluctuate a lot and this time because I've lost a little bit of weight, it's been fluctuating about the same amount, but it's the high end is a little lower than the high end was last year, if that makes sense. So that I think helped with the fit a little bit. I was a little bit skeptical of whether my plan for the binding uh, being gold would work out. What I did was I took Cricut foil iron on and I ironed that onto some fabric and then I made bias tape out of that. It didn't really stretch anymore because of the foil but uh, it, it stretched a little bit. So using that I was able to do the binding at the top and then I was able to use it on different parts of the costume as well but that made it so that I could match the stars on the bodysuit pretty much exactly. I was really really happy with how the stars turned out. I think they're so freaking cute. I took a little bit of creative liberty with adding more stars and more sizes of stars. Like there's only so much detail that Kit can include in a little drawing so that was kind of up for interpretation. So I added a ton more stars and I added lots of different variation of sizes and some little dots instead of stars and I'm so so happy with how that turned out. The necklace part also turned out really well. I'm gonna go over accessories in a later video but having the little ring that the jewelry clips to worked super well and I'm very happy with how that turned out as well. Other than that I think everything worked out really well. I probably could have pulled the binding on the legs a little bit tighter. It does gape a little bit around like where my hip dips are so there is that but I don't know. I I am not too concerned about it. It's a very, very small amount of gaping, so I don't really know that anyone would even notice it except for me. That's pretty much my only qualm with the bodysuit is the gaping around the leg part, and that I think can also just be chalked up to weight fluctuations. So I don't know, maybe at a higher weight or if I do some squats, <laughs> it'll go away. Again, I don't think anybody else will notice except for me. So this is obviously like 
probably the most important part of this cosplay and I'm really really happy with how it turned out. I always love making bunny suits. I actually did like how it looked with the lace up back. I think it was really cute. It is far more of a pain to get into so it takes a lot more time. I can't do it myself usually with the bodysuit. If I'm feeling very motivated I can zip myself up. It is possible for me to like stick a little ribbon through the string and just like pull it up. That is something I can do by myself but like I obviously cannot lace up a whole bodysuit by myself. So pros and cons. It looks really good and I do usually have somebody to help me get dressed meaning Micah or, or another friend but it it was not fast to get into this. It makes the whole process probably take like an extra 20 minutes, which is just not great when I'm running late at conventions. But that is pretty much it. I hope you guys liked this video. I hope you like the costume. I'm super proud of how it turned out. I really love it and thanks Kit for designing it. <laughs> yeah, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, you have any suggestions for other stuff, I don't know. There's not that much to suggest because it's just I made a bodysuit. If you want to see more of this cosplay, let me know in the comments. It's gonna be coming whether or not you want it. Um, <laughs> If you want to see more of my videos, I should also have a Katsukon vlog up at this point. I think the sewing videos are coming after the vlog and I generally have vlogs and sewing and just fashion, I don't know, anything that I really feel like uh, goes up on my YouTube channel. So if you want to see more of that, then please subscribe. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye!